Hey, Gemini. So uh, let's do an energy check in real quick for you guys. All right. So don't forget to up these roles as you see fit. Take only what you need and leave the rest. Please use the spirit of the sermon as you're viewing this video. All right. So let me set my intentions and I'm going to jump right on in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guys, for helping me with this Gemini reading. Protect us as we go through the spiritual gates. Close the gates to anything not in alignment. And thank you for helping me to read messages for Gemini for their highest good. So it is. Don't forget. You guys take only what you need, okay? Flip these rolls because I don't know whose energy is what, all right? So, what's the energy for Gemini? What is Gemini feeling? Ooh. Gemini, I feel like you're scattered in your thinking, of course, because why the cards are flying everywhere. But what's Gemini's energy? Indecision. So it's something here that you're having a hard time letting go of, okay? Or either that or you're just having a hard time with making a certain decision here. It's like you're stuck at a crossroads and it may actually really be draining you. I have the thinking man in the reverse. So um, at this point, again, it's like you may lack understanding or wisdom about this situation or your purpose or direction or what you're supposed to be doing here. Okay, um, and it, it literally is. It's, it's you gotta follow your heart, okay, and just make some self honoring choices for yourself at the end of the day because it's time to let go of the indecisiveness and the self doubt because it's keeping you stuck, okay. So, anything else? Yep, so it's time for you to get still, all right. So, I got the thinking man in reverse, the rest and rejuvenation card in the reverse, the sixth chakra in the reverse, and the broken heart. So you're literally, you know, when it comes to your own personal vision, it's like you're totally disconnected or something. It's like you can't see, okay? Um, but if you meditate on this or rest or something, you'll be able to have some type of clarity of thought about your situation. It's like it's an old pattern or 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 um it's like an old thought pattern or something here that makes you worry, okay? That makes you feel this doubt. Um, but otherwise it's like, you're probably lost in confusion and unclear about what you should be doing. Okay. And when it comes to this broken heart, let's see, you know, maybe you may feel like your heart is broken or somebody's heart is going to be broken. Okay. Now tell me about why Gemini is indecisive. What are they indecisive about? What are they not understanding? Lovers in the reverse in the higher part. Okay, so ooh, when it comes to you making a choice about something, it could be about lovers, okay, here, so you can see it. It's almost as like there's some type of conflict, okay, um, and it's bringing disharmony to you. Maybe your values are not aligned with someone or maybe you're not, you know, trying to commit to a certain process or do something here with the higher font in the reverse position. Remember, you got to stay true to your values, right? You got to stay true to what it is that you value the most. Okay. 333 on the clock. So mm -hmm, eight of wands in the reverse position. So instead of things progressing here, it seems to be misunderstandings and delays. Why? Because again, having a hard time making a decision. So you could be putting on a blindfold or basically because it's like, you feel like whatever decision you make is gonna to lead to a negative consequence, okay? And I, you definitely have to choose between two different things is what I'm hearing. It's like either you're gonna go this path or you're gonna go that path, right? Which path are you gonna go, okay? Um, and you don't know or you don't understand, okay, what to do. You don't know, or you're just uncertain or some type of doubt that's just keeping you from making the best decision for yourself, okay? Um, it has a lot to do with commitment. Four of Wands. It could even have something to do with you just building some type of firm foundation with someone, okay? Because I got two people on this card. This card usually leads to something with celebration, um, marriage, um, uh, building something stable, okay? Going through the threshold could be marriage. Um, however, it's like with the King of Wands energy coming out, you have a very clear vision of what you want to do. It feels like when it comes to this, okay? 
and you you're ready to go after it right you setting these goals for yourself you're in that correct energy to do it but here it is adversity so basically you got to keep standing tall against the adversity because right now this is about your re resiliency even though you may be facing something at this moment it requires you to face it instead of feeling defensive or getting stubborn and and not speaking about it and just kind of holding things in right so uh, another card came out seven of wands so yeah somebody is fighting you on something or you may feel like you have to keep fighting for something okay i feel like someone may also covet what you have with someone tell me about the seven of wands and again it's just a, it's just like you got to keep fighting and it's just like that right there is probably is what is blocking you in your intuition at this time but again staying tall against your adversity yeah the emperor and the ten of pentacles because you have a goal okay you're trying to manifest this goal well, whoever this masculine energy is they they're definitely trying to manifest this goal which is the ten of pentacles building a legacy okay um this card represents relationships long term um bringing families together having a wonderful you understand retirement where you where you are nice and set right wealthy um being able to leave stuff to your children right um it's this is everything so everything that you're trying to build here right now it's like this is what the goal is but it seems like you have to keep fighting okay to get to that point all right but again don't fold on what you believe right you got to be true to your own values here don't allow the inner conflict and the disharmony to keep you from being able to make a decision because this is about your new beginning okay now tell me more about the seven of wands yeah you're looking to be successful and what you are trying to achieve okay so whatever your goals are that's what you're trying to do at this moment right but Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles comes in the reverse position next to the Page of Cups in the reverse. So you may be feeling very impatient, okay? And right now, I feel like you could be slow to open up to some things here instead of you really getting grounded is what I'm hearing, okay? And opening up to trying new things to make your dreams come true. I feel like it's just, it's taking you a minute or you're just having blocks, okay? Now, tell me about the sixth chakra in the reverse. Why is this card in the reverse? Six of Cups, Page of Wands, and the Magician. Hmm. So basically, it's something here that you're clinging to. You're, you could be clinging to the past. Okay, and that's what's restricting you from being able to move forward or to open up. Okay, period. Um, shoot, you could be clinging to old lovers, whatever. It's like whatever's in that past, that's what you are not, um, you're not opening up. It's like that's what's keeping you from being able to really see your future here. Whatever your personal vision is for this goal that you're setting for yourself. Okay, because even with the page of wands in an upright position here, <clears throat> So whatever this is about, Gemini, it's really about you embracing this new opportunity here, okay? To start out on this new journey, all right? Because that's what you're on. This is like your new beginning. And of course, there's going to be some obstacles because there's always obstacles, okay? There's always going to be something you have to face, but you can face it. You can overcome it. And look at these mountains. <laughs> they're, not even that, they're not even that high. So this is something here. If you just really just connect or not even say connect it's like whatever the ideas that you have right put them into action okay um the magician card comes out so this is a gemini card you can manifest this all right you just have to have the willpower to 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 do it like bring everything that you have learned <laughs> definitely because i feel like you have learned a lot of lessons Okay, and use that as your tools to guide you so that you can begin to manifest this new beginning that you are on. Okay, but let me find out what this heartbreak is about. Tell me about the broken heart. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Maybe something you've been working on, you haven't been seeing your efforts pay off. Seven of Pentacles so you can see it page of swords in an upright okay 
whatever it is, it's like you were trying to, you've been putting your energy into something and you're looking to see your rewards, basically. And it's like these ideas, you want to execute them. You're, you're literally, you're eager to do it, but something here is definitely causing a block, okay? It's causing a block is what I'm hearing in, in your... Um, in your heart flow. So let's see what's going on. Tell me about that. Basically, two of swords. It's because you're having a hard time making a decision. And at this point, that's what's making it difficult. It's like, tell me about this two of swords. You have to literally, on this journey, you have to be inclined to give any and everything a go. Okay, because <laughs> you're trying to manifest your dreams here. Six, the page of cups in the reverse position and the knight of pentacles. I mean, literally, you're not doing anything. You're not opening up. You're not taking action. You're not moving forward. You're not taking baby steps <laughs> or anything towards making a decision. And what I see is, it's like you're trying to either... Offer someone some love or, or tell somebody something here because I got the King of Cups in the upright position. It's like, whatever it is, it's like, whatever you're feeling, it's like you're not speaking it, okay? Or you may have. You may have told somebody some stuff, spoke your feelings, right? To recover something with the Three of Swords in the reverse because remember that heartbreak card is in the upright. You may have broke somebody's heart or however, or somebody broke your heart, flipped the rolls. And now it's like, how can we have a peaceful resolution? How can we reconcile our situation here? And that's what I'm, I feel like either you or this person may have been literally coming to you to try to understand the situation and try to balance it out, right? And by being really truthful about what they were feeling or you were being truthful about what you were feeling, okay? But however, follow your heart is what I'm saying because look at this, nine of cups and the strength card. Because whatever is taking place, whatever the decision that you need to make, it involves your wish fulfillment. So have the confidence in knowing that this is what you can manifest because this is what is literally there for you. You just have to get clear on your vision here, your personal vision for yourself. Make the decision, have carriage, okay? And whatever you're worrying about, what is Gemini worrying about? Choosing seven of cups. You got a lot of options. That's why it's hard for you to make a decision. Nine of pentacles in an upright position. Tell me more about this. The nine of pentacles person is someone who's single, who's um, self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Eight of wands upright. So hmm. That could be somebody in your life. I feel like it could be someone in your life that's in this Nine of Pentacles energy. Okay? But this this definitely could be you. So, however it applies. But when it comes to things progressing, okay? Eight of Wands. Tell me more. It's like, it feels like that's what you want to choose. And it's like you're worried about it. Yeah, look at that. Page of Wands. That's, it feels like you want to choose whoever this person is, okay, to progress with. You want to start this new journey with this person, but you have to, you have to choose. You got some other options here, something here that is keeping you. Yep. That's why you haven't been, or they haven't been offering you anything more triggered, more stubborn, right? Tell me about the seven of cups or why you haven't been offering anything serious here um is what i'm saying tell me about the seven of cups yep you just stumbled upon an empress okay or you are the empress and the thing is is that you or this person in your life has been in and out non-committal and that playboy energy, just in and out. And it's like, you literally attracted an empress, okay? 
or empress you attracted a knight of wands <laughs> in the reverse all right totally operating in their lower self here so it's like you want your empress but you also want to be able to have your freedom to have your options that's what it is death card is in the reverse it's either you're fearful to make these changes or you're resistant to changing, okay? And that's why there's a lot of stagnancy here. You're going through a major transformation is what I'm seeing. And it's, this is like one aspect of yourself that you could be still holding on to way too tightly, okay? Because <laughs> I, it, you don't always come, look, four pentacles, yep, and the seven of swords. You don't always come across, like coming across an empress, that's once in a blue moon. So when you come across the empress, you found your person. And I feel like you're not ready. Well, this person isn't ready for you. Look at that. Seven of swords next to the four of pentacles. You're still holding on to your deviant ways. <laughs> Let me pull one more message. Mm. Okay, so the letter card came out. Okay, so, okay, here we go. So this is like a message. So you could be getting a text message or you may have sent the text message or you received a letter or something. So let's pull and see what that's about. Tell me about the letter. The letter here. <clears throat> mm. So you were experiencing some type of adversity. Okay, seven of wands comes up. Something was happening. Somebody was trying to block something. That's what happened. Somebody was trying to block your happiness, okay, between you and this other person. All right, this person covets what you have with this person. Okay, so I got the Ten of Pentacles. You may look at this person as a part of your legacy, somebody you want to build your life with. I have the Emperor, and I have the Queen of Cups, okay? So if somebody could have texted you something about that, basically tell me about the seven of wands yep look at that the lovers and the two of wands okay so this could be um someone you're married to someone you have a strong bond with this is all my also my twin flame card um this could be just somebody that you know and it's about making healthy choices for yourself but what i'm seeing here it's like you've been planning or you've been trying to take the first steps here with this person, especially to have something long term. So you've been making some decisions. But the thing is, it's like somebody is literally blocking you from doing it. Okay. Um, and of course, you may have gotten a message in regards to this. Okay. Um, taking place. Yep. Which kind of caused some delays. But look, or well, somebody got left waiting or what i heard was like you may have left someone on red <laughs> i don't know where that's coming from it's like you may have left someone on red or you left someone hanging in some kind of way yeah or someone could have left you hanging or on red or something like that okay but here with the knight of cups coming out it's like you may have been trying to speak from your heart here and this person was just over it or you were just over it like i don't want to hear it okay because it's too much conflict it's too much adversity it's too much competition it's just too much going on right and this is somebody here yeah so you may have had some type of communication here in regards to that um either with this person this lover of yours or with whoever is getting in the middle of you to could be a third party type situation going on too as well. Yep. So the six of wands comes out, the two of cups in the reverse. 
and the hermit in the reverse. And that's what seems like what happened. It's like this person successfully did what they set out to do. Okay. What's to bring division in between you and this person? All right. That's what I'm saying. Then the hermit in the reverse, right? It's like one of these things where it feels like where it to try to make this other person leave or shut you out in some kind of way. To try to make your lover shut you out or some kind of way. Yeah. Okay. And then look, seven of cups comes out in the upright position. So literally to put put it put you in a predicament here where you had to choose. Or they may have felt like they had to choose, right? Either I got to choose my lover or I got to choose this other person, right? <clears throat> and the lover, of course, you guys know is the one that I'm pulling in with the lover's card. The one that you have a very strong bond with, that connection is there. Um, but however, here with the page of cups in the reverse and this judgment in the reverse here, and something happened. Somebody, somebody literally lacked the self-awareness or didn't judge this situation correctly. Okay. And what ended up being very, instead of communicating and, um, instead of communicating here, what I'm saying and really like connecting, something happened. Cause I, I just feel like whatever the, whatever the tra the drama, okay. Cause I said trauma, cause this probably is tra trauma for someone. Someone is definitely experiencing some type of pain or hurt or something from this situation, but whatever is happening here, it's like, instead of, um, really just trying to find another way to go about doing this situation, it ended up causing someone to like really get defensive. You may even have gotten blamed or this person may have gotten blamed here, okay? Or somebody just really now beginning to go into this energy of doubting, okay? Everything altogether, doubting the connections that you have. Um, but what I'm hearing is like, you have to literally do what you love, okay? Whatever it is that you're passionate about, do that, okay? Whatever your goal is that's going to get you to your Ten of Pentacles, that's what you need to do. Align with that. I feel like you know what you want. Look at that. Ace of Swords. You know the truth. And you know what you want. So get gain some clarity about your situation overall because your mind is in expansion mode. Like you're really ready to start something new. Okay. And with it, whatever it is. But you can literally face your problems honestly just by communicating. That's it. You may be confused. You may be unsure about what to do, but all it takes is to communicate it. You want to break through? Communicate it. Okay, so like everything it feels like that's taking place, it just it literally is going to just take for you to just say what you have to say here and, and do, what you, do what you know to be right for you. Okay? Don't show me what I need to see. Don't let your pride get in the way because that's your ego. It's getting in the way of you. Making a decision here that is based off of what you want for yourself. Hmm. So let's see. I feel like I'm like, do I want to pull another card? <laughs> Let me see here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Magic guardian in the in the sun. So go after your new beginning. You can literally manifest this. The magic you're looking for is inside of you. It's nowhere else. It's not outside of you. You have the answers here. You literally can make it do what it do here. But let me let me pull. Um, I don't want to pull. I want to read it from the book real quick. So give me a second. As I scan my table to find this book. It says, stop looking outside of yourself and recognize that you have incredible power within. You are the magic. You are the answer. You have it all within you. If you've been searching for an answer or reason to focus, recognize that all that you are looking for is already within you. You are powerful and magical, okay? With the capacity to direct your intentions and will your desires into being. But your power can only be powerful when you own it. So take time to acknowledge it. Your ability to dedicate yourself to a goal and make it happen is a real gift. 
that you are being guided to recognize now. You are the magic. Like you literally have the power to manifest this goal that you're trying to do, but you you're, you don't recognize it. And that's why you're allowing the adversity to come in. That's why this, this stuff like this only happens when you give up your power. Okay, so recognize your power because you're trying to manifest something here that is going to be healing and supportive of your path. Okay, so hopefully that helps Gemini. All right, that was a lot. I felt like I needed to do a reading for you guys. I don't know. I just felt like the energy was kind of a little on the heavy side. Okay, so hopefully that will get bring you some type of clarity. I do hope that you take the moment to rest and rejuvenate. I feel like you may got a lot going on and on your plate, but even if it's just five minutes to practice some type of mindfulness, okay, you need it in order for you to keep stay focused on the bigger picture your vision for yourself. All right. Peace.